Hey what's up guys it's me Dan and today I'm gonna just start the quest series of the companions I'm level 65 and I still haven't joined them so <laughs> I've just basically I've I've joined them and I've talked to Farkas who gave me a small job so I skipped that because that's pretty boring because it's just a random generated quest you go there you kill something like a bear come back and now I'm here okay so basically when you join um, you must speak to the codlack white man I think yeah who is the harbinger who is down stairs so you go down go downstairs in the companions and run along the hallway onto your right right on the end is the old person so when you're in you you obviously have to do there's like a trial and stuff but that's really easy you just hit him with a shield and stuff you do that it's really easy and then you come to here and I'm just gonna speak to Skewer. He said he wants to see me. Okay, so basically what happens is is you have to go to a I think a dungeon somewhere. I have to speak to Farkas. Alright, so I'm just gonna skip the opening of Yovaska because that takes a while. Okay, guys, so I've just entered the hall of Yovaska now, and I'm going to speak to Farkas. Let's do this thing. Okay, so. Oh. Ha oh, ha ha, he's my shield brother. Oh, I remember this is amazing. This is a beastie quest. Okay, let's go to this random place. Where is it? Oh ha ha ha, I've already found it. Yay! Dunsman's car. Wow, most of Skyrim's waterways are home to slaughterfish whose rages are teeth claim the many lives of careless swimmers. And they do like no damage, so they're terrible, so what's the point? They're quite annoying, because when you want to swim in the... when you're trying to get across a river or something, and then there's like five slaughterfish and you can't like fast travel and stuff, it's really annoying. So that's quite frustrating. Um, just a thing to note, guys, is um, whenever you're watching my videos, okay, is generally if unless you're a higher level than me, you're not gonna find half the enemies that I'm versing. They're gonna be the same creatures, but they're not gonna be as strong. So, for example, if it's Draugr, you're going to verse, if you're level 5, you might verse Draugr's, Restless Draugr's, okay? Then I'm versing Draugr, Death Lords, Draugr, Death Overlords, okay? And just weirdos like that, who are just stupidly powerful. So, this is also um, the first time I've done heavy armor in a video. So, <laughs> yeah, so some memorable video here don't show the world that I suck at lock picking come on yes yes <laughs> basically I got like no perks for lock picking it's so stupid but it's good because I don't want to waste it Did you go down here? yeah Come on, Farkas. Oh, so there's a Draugr, so I'm gonna be this and Draugr, right? Okay? What's this? Okay, so this is my stupid Draugr Death Lord, who's like super powerful. Another advantage, guys, is um, don't worry about Farkas. Try not to hit him, but um, he can't die because he's a quest bearer. 
any quest bearers in Skyrim that are also followers cannot die. Um, so you're gonna, you know, you're gonna encounter a few people, important people that. So don't think, oh no, I gotta run ahead and try and save him. Otherwise the quest fails. No, it doesn't matter. He'll, he'll keep falling over. But um, yeah. Okay. Oop, wooden door. Cobwebs. So, oh, so what do I do here? Right. Okay. Um. Ooh, potions. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love this. I love this now. Watch. Ah! No! <laughs> no! 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 Don't worry, guys. If this happens, do not load. Um, it's fine. It's supposed to happen. So this is quite funny now. I'll fly in the release switch. Oh no, Farkas, you are going to die. Go on, Farkas, kill him. Go on, yeah, cheer, yeah. Come on, do something amazing. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, he's a whale. Crazy man. Kill him, eat them. <laughs> That was pathetic. You just hit them like once, they die. Slay the beast! I hope I didn't scare you. Ooh, let's just search these bodies. The silver hand dropped quite a few healing potions, so um, check them pretty often because a lot of them will drop potions. Ooh, here we go. Another Skyrim error. There we go. <laughs> so basically. Oh. So what you need to do is just run through here. Oh god. Oh no. Oh is that Farkas? No it's not. Oh some random. Who are you? Oh. Oh he's just a silver hand. Oh. <laughs> Lol. Anyway. Let's do this. Kill. I like, I, I try, you know, with the companions, a lot of people, if you're like a mage, a lot of mages just do magic. Nah, I, you know, if I, I had the choice to do light armor with archery, I thought to myself, I might as well just do that. But, um, I said to myself, no, because what's the point? You're getting no enjoyment, because, and also, my archery is sort of master, and it's really stupid. And my light armor is 94. So I don't need to train those very much. So let's do a bit of my worst stats. Actually, my worst stats are um, what's it called? Um, heavy armor, one-handed. My two-handed's gone up higher because two-handed is quite easy to train, to be honest. Because you could just do quite a lot of damage. Two-handed looks amazing. What I mainly like about one-handed is the I like a lot about one handed actually. Um, in the old game it was pretty rubbish. You could only have one weapon and a shield. You could do magic with a shield which is stupid like flame spells with a shield. But the problem is it was like um, the fire vault which is the second fire spell. It was just all, it was like that and it was called flared. It was rubbish. So I got the, 
this one of the probably one of the worst um what's it called um stones guardian stones i chose the tower stone which means you can unlock a lock which is um up to expert just once a day i chose it mainly because my thing was pretty low so hopefully when I show my how to train lock picking really really fast but pretty boring to be honest um, just saying you need like over like I don't know 500 lock picks plus so I think I've got over that <laughs> I think I've got enough to just break them all and master it because that's basically what you do yeah there you go but you know I I don't actually buy lock picks guys um, you know, I just pick them up. I just find so many for some reason. Just over time, you just find them, and it's probably because I search almost everybody I see. So um, that that might be why. Because then, if they drop one lock pick every now and then, then I'm gonna stack, aren't I? Rather than if you just search a body every quite a, in quite a long space of time. My heavy armor sucks so bad, but I, I like steel plate. It, it's one of the best armors for, from detail. Um, it's the most realistic good armor. You know, like Daedric is not real, so you know. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs>